Hey, what's up, guys? Trader Tim, TJMacTrading.com. I wanted to do a short video on setting up the flexible grid chart on Thinkorswim. Uh, using uh, the flexible grid chart, you can do a couple cool things that you can't do on the regular uh, charts with Thinkorswim. So, on your Thinkorswim account, if you go to the top tabs and click on charts, uh, the first one that comes up is your Thinkorswim charts, and you can make a grid. You can make uh, about 28 different uh, grid patterns. Uh, so if you want uh, more grids, you can simply click the blue box up here and click the number of grids that you would like. But with the flexible grid, one thing that you can do, I got a bumped out here, and with the flexible grid, not only can you make uh, boxes, you can elongate those boxes and make different shapes as well as incorporate things like time and sales you can click uh, introduce the active trader to your screen so the way you want to get this stuff set up uh, first I'll go ahead and uh, reset here uh, when you first open up the flexible grid it'll look like this the little wrench up in the corner if you select that these little boxes come up and you can simply add or subtract whatever um, whatever boxes that you would like so uh, this left plus will put a box below the right uh, the the plus in the middle here will put a box to the right and then the red slash will delete boxes so if we want to go in here and uh, add a little ES chart to these uh, boxes here we can um, on the right here simply add by clicking time and sales or add the active trader in here and we'll go ahead and delete this box and now we have an ES chart here um, we have the active trader open and we have our time and sales and then up here we have a larger term uh, whoops lar oh, I just hit reset by mistake there guys sorry uh, we have a larger term ES chart and as soon as I go in here active trader time and sales there we go delete this one and this can be very useful uh, if you want to simply trade the ES you have your daily chart we can go up here change it say we want a 15 minute chart we have a shorter term time frame down here we have the active trader in your time and sales so everything you need uh, incorporated onto one screen some of the other things that uh, they have are uh, this buttons which I don't really use uh, it's similar to the active trader it's just a uh, buy and sell at market uh, basically uh, so I don't use that one uh, uh, for Forex um, there's a essentially Forex active trader a tab a level two quotes you can pull up and then you get there's also a news tab so if uh, you want to see you know scrolling news and things like that but the most uh, the ones that I use uh, would be um, time and sales the chart and I use infinity futures uh, now from my brokerage firm but uh, if you do use uh, thinkorswim for you can use uh, this active trader for anything that thinkorswim offers that is futures uh, or stock so uh, you simply uh, change the ticker symbol here and then the active trader uh, and as well as the time and sales everything in this uh, encompassed in this box here will change together uh, one of the nice things is you can have SPY down here uh, and you could simply have the Dow uh, diamonds up top here and if you want to add a chart uh, you simply click the wrench click the add button and over here I can put the uh, NASDAQ if I want and we can have multiple charts uh, multiple functions and uh, different sizes as well so it's really convenient if if you have a bunch of charts up here and it's a little bit hard to see you can simply delete them and turn off the wrench and you'll have a nice big uh, maybe longer term chart up here than your short term chart uh, down below so hopefully that was helpful and the uh, flexible grid is a great tool on thinkorswim along with the uh, charts tab that they have oh, one more thing if you go up to grid you can click save flexible grid type a name and then this grid uh, will be saved so hopefully that helps and check out the blog tjmactrading.com for more thanks a lot guys take care